Welcome back to Tipsy Whiskey Shenanigans. I'm Steven, and today, tonight, whenever the heck you're watching this, we're getting into bourbons I can't stop drinking. So this video is basically a update of what I've been drinking recently. This isn't, there's not any sort of real rules in any which way per se outside of it needs to be a bourbon and it needs to be something I've been drinking. This is kind of an update of the bourbons I've been getting into over the last few months. Which is pretty exciting because uh, now that we're kind of towards the back end of summer, I've been getting into some really, really good hitters. And I've also gotten some really, really good hitters over the last few months. So I've been hitting some of these hitters a little hard. So before I get in today's video, a word from our sponsor. This video is brought to you by Z Biotics. We've all made mistakes before. We've all sent it a little bit too hard on a weekday. You got work the next day and usually you would be hurting, but thanks to Z-Biotics, I no longer worried about that. Z-Biotics Pre-Alcohol Probiotic is the world's first genetically engineered probiotic. It was invented by PhD scientists to tackle rough mornings after drinking. Here's how it works. When you drink, alcohol gets converted into a toxic byproduct in your gut. It's this byproduct, not dehydration, that's to blame for your rough next day. Zbiotics produces an enzyme to break this byproduct down. It's designed to work like your liver, but in your gut where you need it most. Just remember to drink Zbiotics before drinking alcohol. Drink responsibly and get a good night's sleep to feel your best tomorrow. Make sure to pick up some Zbiotics before your Halloween parties this season to stay away from that spooky next morning. Go to zbiotics.com forward slash tipsy, use a QR code down here, and use the code tipsy at checkout to receive 15% off your first order. This code can also be used for subscription basis, so you can stay ahead of the game moving forward. Also, Zbiotics is 100% money back guaranteed, so no questions asked. If you are not happy with your purchase, they will refund your money. Remember to head to zbiotics.com forward slash tipsy and use the code tipsy at checkout to receive 15% off your first order. Thank you, Zbiotics, for sponsoring this video, but let's get back at it. All right, let's get this video kicked right off with first one, the go-to summer pour, the one I've probably been drinking the most over the last few months, Buffalo Trace. B trace. I mean, this one's kind of short, simple. I'll keep it short, simple, and sweet. Uh, this bottle is absolutely fantastic. I really, really like this primarily for the summer. It is very sweet, very appley, and I really like it over the summer because, again, it's sweet, it's appley, it's hot as heck here in Arizona, so you need something a little bit easier, more approachable, and Buffalo Trace comes in spades, and honestly, it's getting ridiculously easy to find. It's in grocery stores here. We're starting to see it all the time at Total Wines. Like, there's no hunting Buffalo Trace anymore. It's just a shelf product, which is absolutely fantastic for the summer and after that one we're gonna get into something that honestly felt really special to me because this is a bottle that uh, one of you guys actually got for me um, I don't know if I'm allowed to share his name so I'm just not gonna but if you're watching this you know who you are so freaking thank you fantastic but he saw my rare breed versus rare breed non-chill filter. He's also in Arizona as well. So he came by the distillery. We talked a little bit and he's like, hey, I'm going out of town. If I see it, let me know. I'll pick it up. So he picked me up a bottle of wild turkey rare breed non-chill filtered barrel proof. And God, I must say, this is the greatest value I think I've ever seen in the entire whiskey world. This bottle was like $35 or something like that for a liter for a bottle of rare breed that's significantly better than the pre-existing rare breed that I'm happy to pay $50 for. This is such a freaking steal. If y'all didn't watch that video, I'll try to put a link up there uh, as well, but this basically is rare breed if rare breed was on freaking steroids, but somehow um, in a bigger bottle and also somehow cheaper, but it's really hard to find because it's a traveler's exclusive. Either which way, this is a super special bottle to me because, you know, again, one of you guys got it for me um, and, you know, it's an absolute hitter for like zero money whatsoever. So. I'm super thankful about that and you know because it's a new bottle for me I think I got it like two weeks ago or something like that 
up and saucing it a little heavier than I typically would. Let's get on to the next one. And we're getting into something sweet. Woodford Reserve Double Oak. Like I said, it's been this summer. So kind of my complex summer pour. Woodford Reserve Double Oak. I really, really like this because it's, you know, it's caramely. It's vanilla. It is that, like, I call it Werther's Original. It is literally, like, crack cocaine for grandmothers. I mean, not really, but you know what I mean by that. Uh, this is fantastic. So this is Double Oaked Woodford Reserve, and it's at that 45.2% ABV, that, you know, weird ABV that Woodford really likes to stick all their bottles at. I really like this for the summer because, again, it's sweet, it's approachable, it's crushable. Like, this is, if you like caramel, you like Werther's Original, this is literally, like, the single most crushable whiskey ever. Not as crushable, in my mind, as Buffalo Trace, but still a really, really good crushable bourbon. And those two are kind of one of my go-to kind of summer pours as far as bourbon goes because I really like those sweet, easy, approachable flavors that I get off of that. But then moving on to something quite a bit more complex and something that I might be getting a bit of stank eye from some of you for, but I've been enjoying this. Not outside. This has been an inside pour only, but that is going to be Elijah Craig Barrel Proof B523. And this is another one. Usually I'm a little bit less intense or deep into all of these Elijah Craig Barrel Proofs because, you know, I, I really like them, but I usually don't like to drink them super fast because they're, you know, usually harder to find, you know, high proof, cash strength, you know, like there's all sorts of variables, but this one has been sticking around the shelves a lot because, you know, it's an 11 and a half year old Elijah Craig Barrel Proof that everyone lost their mind about. It's freaking fantastic. It is literally the same Elijah Craig flavor profile. It is nutty. It's chocolatey. I really, really like it. It has nice oak, nice tobacco in it. I'm a huge fan of it. I, I mean, you guys know me. I'm a huge Elijah Craig Barrel Proof fanboy. And this one is like readily findable, easy to find for like $82 in my area. And honestly, I don't think you're finding a better bottle at that price point anywhere. Unless if you, you know, that rare breed non-chill filtered because, you know, that, that thing's a freaking gem. And after that one, one that really freaking blew my mind, Doc Swinson's Bosa Nova. This bottle is another one that's really special to me. I actually bought duplicates of it because, man, it is a fire. This is, um, what is that called? Brazilian Ambarana Cask Finished, aka Cinnamon Toast Crunch Finished Bourbon. It is so freaking fantastic. Doc Swinson's, they blend MGP. This is part of their exploratory cask. Uh, this is about, I think I paid 70-ish dollars for these. Um, they are 112.8 proof, so really, really good proof. You know, that like 110s is that's such a great proof to just drink at. These Brazilian Ambarana cask finish ones are absolutely incredible. I mean, anything in the exploratory cask series, I've really, really liked so far. But the Brazilian Ambarana, I just was not ready for that cinnamon toast crunch, and I freaking loved it. And last, but definitely not least, probably the one I've been drinking the most of is going to be Venture Stills Peralta Bourbon. Uh, this is a local Arizona craft, and take this as you will, because this is the distillery I work for. Uh, this is our bourbon, so, you know, I work around this stuff. I live around this stuff now. Uh, so I've been drinking a lot of our bourbon recently, and I really like our bourbon because it's a little bit different than your average bourbon out there. 2% uh, of the mash bill is chocolate malt, so you get this, like, nice chocolatey espresso mocha type flavor profile on the bourbon, which is, it's fun. It's different. You you know, it's not just another typical MGP whiskey or, you know, like Old Forester. It's like, oh, it's a nutty banana. You know, it's, I don't get a lot of espresso type, you know, bourbons out there. So I really, really like this one. And I've been drinking it a lot because, you know, now this is part of my job. So I freaking love this stuff. Um, again, I work for here, so take it as you will. But if you're in the Arizona area, reach out to me because... This is going to be something you're going to want to try if you're a huge bourbon fan or just a whiskey fan in general. We got some great stuff, but stuff plugs away. That is a wrap of the bourbons I can't stop drinking. These 
are the bourbons that I've been really gravitating towards and drinking a lot over the last, like, we'll call it quarter, if you will. So these are the bourbons I can't stop drinking because, you know, I'm really, really digging them. I'll probably do another one of these videos probably next quarter towards the, like, last quarter of the year just because I like to kind of update how things are going and what I've been drinking recently. So you know, stay tuned for that. But again, that is a wrap for this video. So do me that favor, like, comment, and subscribe. Let me know down below what you thought about today's video, as well as what have you been drinking recently? Let me know what you can't stop drinking right now. Also check out the Facebook, Instagram, and the Patreon. Links for all that stuff are down there below. Cheers, y'all. We'll see you later.